Now for me, it's two points dropped. We we did not apply ourselves the way we expected in this match. We knew that Kevin would be very stubborn, and we knew the shape they are going to play with. We knew he's going to have three centre backs and wing backs, and he will have a five across to try and frustrate us. We we, we we did expect that he will kill the space behind the defence and we needed a little bit more. Our performance was very cautious first half, uh, lacking incision, lacking the dribbles, uh, lacking forcing the, the opponents to face their goals. From our wing backs, one would have expected more one against one situations, maybe combinations to try and get behind them and put crosses in the box. And uh, we did not get that, and that was, for me was very disappointing because we, in a game like this, you expect your your team to put their best foot forward. With how uh, disappointed you are with the team's uh, uh, performance, especially in the final third. I just think we 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 we, we took the the caution side of the game and not wanting to lose possession more than forcing the game, maybe to, to create even more transitions and counter press because at times in football, if you if you try to, to force yourself in and you lose possession, opponents that want to counter attack, they start to open up for you. Then you can counter press immediately and find the openings that you want. But when you are safe and they are saying you must play in front of them and your fullbacks are having more than 10 balls, Bad passes, it's, it's, it's not going to help you. In one against one situations, those were the moments that were that compromised us a little bit more. And I, I feel to a certain extent when they killed the space behind the defence, it also minimised the influence of Peter Shabulide. But had Peter scored the, the first chance that he got in the game, this game could have turned out differently because that was, to me, a very easy chance for him to tap it in. Then from there, the opponents would be forced to come out and it would present a different game to us. Um, with the recent lineups uh, that included Yugusa and uh, Zwani, did you miss them in today's match? No, definitely. We, we missed Musa, we missed uh, Temba Zwani, but I must also say, in as much as I say we missed Musa, one must also say Grant Kekana played very well in that position. In fact, our centre-backs never gave any, any, any headaches to us. It's just that we were not incisive enough offensively. We never forced situations, we never forced combination plays, one against one, maybe more adventurous. Uh, Lebizo of Chipo, for instance, so he would try to go forward even when the situation does not allow him. He's only alone in that space, but he's forcing to say, I want to try and get inside. Hannibal would also do the same and put a ball into the box. When, when your fullbacks are not playing for that, uh, as a coach, you must be worried because a game like this, with one cross, with Peter in, in the box, with uh, a, 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 a Hashim coming late into the box, a Motobi coming late into the box, there's something that you can get. But when you're not having a lot of crosses and never having sufficient actions in and around the opposition box, uh, it does not help you. When you play in front of them, uh, no matter how many touches on the ball you can have with your number six, with your centre backs, with your goalkeeper, it does not help. What is more important is to try to, to force the game into the opponents and see what you get out of it. Highlighting Hashim Domingo, uh, what has he done differently this season? He's a little bit more composed. Because technically, no doubt, he's, he's, he's a technically very gifted player, but uh, he still has to, to work a little bit harder in his game uh, to be an offensive midfielder and force situations offensively. Defensively, his counter-pressing is good, his passing game is good, but the game of football in a big team needs a little bit more from a number eight. Number eight should score goals, number eight should have assists like the, the previous match where he played that pass to Peter and got a penalty from it. You need a lot of such actions so that he can build his confidence and start to talk the, with the numbers of how many chances I created, how many goals I scored, how many shots at goals have I, t have I taken, how many box entries. Those are the numbers that uh, any offensive midfielder sh should worry himself about. And that is an area of his game that has still has to improve a little bit, but he's a very good player. We are confident he's still going to come up. Um, question around the players and their fitness levels. Are you happy uh, so far with the three games played? At this stage of the season, it's, it's not always about the, the highest level of fitness. 
the same team play, managed to play 120 minutes against Kaiser Chiefs. So you would not say the performance today probably is because of fitness levels. I, I think the condition of the players is, is okay, but it, it can still improve. Yes, obviously there might be other teams that are looking very sharp now that are already at the highest gear. But we know our marathon. We know that we have to build progressively up, up until we arrive to the point that we want to arrive at. But as coaches, we we are happy with the progress that the team is making. And even today, it's not a question of the physical condition. I think Chipa in the second half were willing to give us spaces a little bit. We could have punished, and we we tried. But unfortunately, in football, when you don't win a match, it's easy to to go to fitness, to fitness and other things. But the truth of the matter is. We are happy with the progress that the team is making. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.